Hello, I'm Donnie from Thermaltake USA, and I'd like to introduce our new open frame micro ATX case, the AHT200. Just like our AHT600, you can get this case in black or white. This helicopter style case sits at 44.4 centimeters tall, 28.2 centimeters wide, and 55.1 centimeters long. There are three 3 mm thick tempered glass front panels and two 4 mm thick tempered glass side panels. These side panels are hinged, making it easy to remove while building or cleaning. For storage, the AHT200 has mounts for either three 2.5 inch SSDs or two 3.5 inch HDDs that has a max thickness of 22 mm. The case also has two hidden 2.5 inch SSD mounts built into the frame. The top panel can be removed to access the upper fan mount, which supports either two 120mm or two 140mm fans. Removing the faceplate will give you access to the modular bracket that can fit two 120mm fans, two 140mm fans, or if you want to cool your PC with an AIO, it can support a 240 or a 280mm radiator. The AHT200 can support a graphics card length of up to 320mm, power supply length of 180 millimeters, and a CPU cooler height of 150 millimeters. The case's I.O. panel consists of a power and reset button, two USB 3.0 Type-A ports, and one USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C port. Today, I'm super excited to announce our brand new Ulta G1M Micro ATX tower chassis. Over the years, Silverstone has developed quite a few chassis designs that's proven to stand the test of time and loved by PC enthusiasts. Yet as technology and hardware components advances, chassis designs must also elevate too. Therefore, Silverstone engineering team created the Ultra G1M as part of the flagship Ultra chassis line, which embodies the characteristics and qualities of the iconic Fortress FT-03, while delivering extraordinary building experiences for today's highest end of hardware components. So let's quickly dive in and see what Ultra G1M has to offer. Upon first glance, the Ultra G1M immediately stands out with its 90 degree rotated motherboard layout inherited from the Fortress FT-03. This layout reduces the chassis overall footprint as it's tall in height and short on depth and contributes to an excellent bottom to top direction of airflow we call stack effect cooling, which takes advantage of hot air's natural tendency to rise. The Ultra G1M was designed with high airflow in mind. The solid steel construction and perforated steel panels adds a distinctive but subtle look with a style of durability. Not to mention we've designed it with modular panels, so all four panels including the top cover can be removed, which eases the build process and upgradability at a later date. Included with the case is a 180mm PWM air penetrator fan, the AP184i Pro, which sports the iconic air penetrator grille and has a 0 to 1200 RPM speed range, capable of delivering a large volume of circular motion airflow in a focused direction. Besides the stack effect design, there's also great compatibility for high-end components. Ultra GIM supports SFXL form factor power supplies, four slot graphics cards with clearance of up to 355 mm in length and 159 mm height clearance for CPU coolers. The included bracket on the right side supports radiators of up to 360mm, 320mm fans, or two 2.5 inch or 3.5 inch drives. One thing to note is that the thickness of the component chosen for the bracket should be taken into consideration when choosing a CPU cooler, as that will affect the CPU cooler's height limitation. Additionally, the rear fan mount supports two 120mm fans, or two 2.5 inch or 3.5 inch drives. The front I.O. panel has one USB Type-C port, two USB 3.0 port, a combo audio jack, and power and reset button. There's also a strategic placement of openings at the bottom of the chassis to keep the cables out of sight with no excess clutter. To prevent dust accumulating in the case, we've added a dust filter for the 180mm fan at the bottom of the chassis and on the side panels. All in all, the Ultra G1M is a great case with optimal airflow that's perfect for beginners and enthusiasts alike. 
Not everyone has a lot of desk space, and with more of us working or studying from home, it can be hard to imagine moving from the convenience of a compact laptop to a tower, regardless of how much of a great performance upgrade it can be. But what if I told you that you could make that switch with ease and do it in style? Hey there, I'm Sarah from Thermal Tech Australia, and this is the Divider 200, a micro case that also serves as a gorgeous statement piece. The Divider 200 is 364.7 millimeters high, 333.3 millimeters wide, and 425.7 millimeters deep. This makes the Divider 200 somewhat cube-sized in nature, featuring a blend of open frame style elements and a variety of great functionality options. The Divider 200 features two symmetrical 3mm triangular panels on the left and right side. These feature the iconic divide strip that all of our Divider series cases have. The Divider 200 also features front and top 3mm tempered glass panels. This ensures all of your gorgeous hardware can be visible from any and every angle. But if tempered glass panels aren't your jam, just like our Divider 500, the 200 comes in an air version too, for all you peak airflow enthusiasts out there. The Divider 200 comes with a single pre-installed 200mm front fan and one standard 120mm rear fan to help ensure reliable cooling performance from the get-go. Lastly, the Divider 200 has a super exciting and unique design featuring a horizontal motherboard tray placement. This allows for far better cable management options and also ensures full vision of your hardware via the top tempered glass panel. Despite being a micro ATX size case, the Divider 200 can deliver excellent hardware support for all sorts of builds. You can run a CPU cooler with a max height of 185mm and a graphics card of up to 310mm with a radiator and 340mm without one. Motherboard wise, you'll need to run either a micro or mini ITX board, but it can support standard ATX size power supply. In terms of radiators, the Divider 200 supports up to a 280mm radiator at either the front or side, and you can run up to a 200mm fan at the front, or two 140mm fans at the side. Finally, storage-wise, the Divider 200 has some great options too. Sitting in the lower half of the case, you can run a total of three 3.5-inch HDDs and three 2.5-inch SSDs, or a total of six 2.5-inch SSDs. The Divider 200 also comes with a ton of unique features that ensures that while this case may be smaller than the others in the lineup, it certainly still has a lot to offer. For starters, airflow has been thoroughly considered in this case, featuring multiple air vents on the sides, front and top, and even at the intersections between the two side panels. Additionally, the Divider 200 features removable magnetic fan filters on the right, bottom and front. This helps protect your precious internals from any dust or dirt that may try to sneak its way inside. Finally, your front I.O. port features two USB 3.0 and a Type-C port located on the top panel in an easy and convenient location. So if you're looking for a versatile and compact case that will also turn heads, then the Divider 200 might just be for you. Combining stunning good looks and great functionality, this is a case that makes a statement and has all your hardware needs covered at the same time. Small can certainly be mighty, especially in the case of the Divider 200. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, remember to smack our like button like a drum and pop any thoughts or questions that you may have in that six week comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because if you haven't already, then like, what are you doing with your life? Like really re think about how you got here, what events led you here, and just ask yourselves, why am I not subscribed to this channel? Because you should be. And also remember to ding the bell so you'll be notified each time we upload because sometimes the world doesn't tell you and that's sad.